Um, I'm Chris McDougall from Australia. I'm a resident of Switzerland now. I've been bass drumming for about almost 18 years and have about 3,200 bass drums. Dougs is one of the most colorful and accomplished wingsuit pilots in the WWL. Born in Australia, Dukes has been skydiving for more than 20 years and has more than 7,000 total parachute jumps. He is a highly accomplished free fall and canopy parachutist and a highly respected instructor and coach. He started base jumping in 1997 and since then has become one of its preeminent practitioners, pioneering new sights and outrageous stunts throughout the world. In 2010, he detailed his exploits to date in the hilarious and frolicking book titled Confessions of an Idiot. In 2012, Dugues was an entertaining part of the WWNL's inaugural Grand Prix, where his over-the-top personality and razor-sharp wingsuiting skills personify the old saying that if a man conducts himself with outer humor, then it must be with inner seriousness. I picture myself as an old man body with a young man mind, with an old man wisdom. My punkness is a lot more on the inside now. I still won't let anyone tell me what to do, but I will bite my tongue a lot more now. Cool, so it's getting super exciting now. There's only six jumpers left in round two. So let's see how it finishes up. And me personally, I'm very stoked. Got in the top 10, so uh, it's game on. I'm definitely a risk taker, but I choose my battles. My comprehension of the speed in which I can process information in base jumping and wingsuiting is massive. And I accept that so I can take a certain amount of risk for that because I understand it completely. And that's why I'm still here because I know what I'm good at and I know what I'm not good at. Oh, sorry. Oh, the camera's on. <laughs> yeah, well, so we, we had a great day today. Both of us made it into the finals. Um, and we both did great times and, and pretty consistent. So. Yeah. It's yeah. a great day, two Aussies in the finals, so that's probably a first for WWL, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. first for Australia too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, nice buddy, buddy. Now we have Andy competing against Dukes and it's time to determine the jump base. Competition for me has evolved a lot because as long as I do a really good job for me, I've won. And that's the difference between being a 20 year old in competition and a 38 year old in competition that's already been world champion, it's already been world record holder, all the bullshit. You know, it's just a title. For me now, it's everything that surrounds that fleeting moment. There's everything, and that's actually whether you win or lose. And that's way more important for me now. As an honor racing with Andy, and I'm very glad he's going ahead. Yeah, so I had an awesome race with Andy Farrington. Um, he ended up beating me at the end by 0.4 of a second, so it's pretty tight. You know, Andy Farrington's a, a true champion um, and a really good competitor, so I ran my best race and unfortunately he got through. <laughs> I'm not a wingsuit pilot. I never will be. I never have been. I'm a base jumper. So I still like the intrigue of breaking into a building. I still like the intrigue of sneaking up an antenna. You know, unfortunately, sometimes we have to deal with the law and um, so be it. But, you know, as the punk inside says, fuck them.